Whatever. And the best thing items. about the best thing about cold, cold effects is always like, hey, you're one centimeter away from the fire. Now your units are starting to freeze, which means they stop moving. <laughs> yeah, they start to freeze. You, you, yeah, your unit just looks at the fire and it's like, you know, I I can't move on. I can't move on. You actually will see them huddled down and start to try to stay warm around it. They actually have mesh animations for it and everything. Yeah, no, but the joke is, if you, you know that when you get too cold, your unit stops moving. Yeah, they die. They literally then, die. Yeah, then they, they stop moving. They sit there, and if the snow stops, and they, they all start warming up again. But if there's no fire or anything being built, then they just ah, die shit. a second afterward. So oh, I'm dead good. now. Just... <laughs> you died just as we hit the map. <laughs> well, the ice is burning anyway, so it doesn't matter, but I still died. It's very sad. <laughs> Should we start a new one? I know we still need a third no, player. We don't, anyway. we don't have a six. Yeah, we, we don't have a six. six. So it wouldn't matter. Maybe if somebody uh, would, you know, make his thing live, I could actually watch. Oh, I, I, I can make it live. I mean, you you can physically just go to my stream. Uh, true, he has a stream. You, he, you, he, link, link him to the stream. <laughs> yeah, but Give I don't want his stream. Oh. I want to watch an actual good player. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's shades! Holy <laughs> shit! I mean, here's the thing. I'm not a good player. I never said I'm a good player, but the fact that I've only like 50 hours and I've been holding for him actually means that I'm considerably good at this game. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, you should totally watch him. But he scares me. <laughs> well, too bad. Now Don't worry, the King Strat will destroy everything. Ah, Where's the King Strat? There I am. Don't. Malters. Mortars everywhere, says Buzz. That's my strategy. <laughs> I think there's like three or four heavy Russian mortars just blowing everything up. Oh, it's yeah, easy dude. to counter, so, but it's hilarious. And anyways, is, that's not the original King Strat. The original King Strat is British mortar pits. Like five it's, not even that, it's not even that uh, easy to counter, because if you have one mortar fire, and then you just see where the counter barrage is coming from. You move up and shoot at it. You can really get some damage going. Unless the counter barrage just so happens to be a vehicle. I mean, yeah, sure, then that's still possible to counter. It's much more difficult to counter mortar a vehicle, because you don't take the mortar out. Like, if it's a mortar tr vehicle itself. Some commanders have that. So, who's, uh, who's team? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Those Martin scripts were insane. Yeah, you got too close to them. When captured, you want satisfied. You generally want to fight conscripts at range. We have more conscripts at our disposal. Because their squad leader does have a PPSH. Always keep that in mind. Oh, didn't know that. Yeah. Conscripts are mm. shit, but their squad leader is not We are bleeding, comrades! Ooh, that's a good nade. Seriously, who's on your team, Lumble? Uh, He's Mephus. I was Mephus again. We didn't change the teams. How, I didn't know whose team was on whose to be in with. Well, now you know. It's, uh, it's, oh, fuck. Fuck, from Chalky. He's got missus on his side. They cannot kill the revolution! I mean, America can kill the revolution whatever the hell they feel like. <laughs> All they have to do is wipe out humanity. Shit, I'm on the back of the Can you take this? Oh, you're taking something. Big... Oh, so Sorry, say again. How'd you get Frontovki so fast? You can build the rifle command straight out the gate. If you don't want to deal with the uh, conscripts. Hmm. Oh, you mean the Frontovikis? Yeah, that's, yeah. Just, that's just basic Soviet soldiers that are on the yeah, conscripts. Yeah, like my basic soldier. Like conscripts and Frontoviki are just two separate things. Russians can basically decide if they want soldiers that are basically the same training as the other nations, or just go with conscripts. 
So the rest of it, I think what... Oh, you, you're in the Red Army now. Go fight. Oh, all right. Usually the way I use um, the conscript is simple. Pull the trigger. Usually the way I use the conscript is I buy him early on just for some quick manpower. And then later in the game, if I lose anything in terms of like artillery or some shit, I buy conscript set and just tell him like, you do, you do. Uh, you too, go reman that thing. Plus, you can always use conscripts to merge with other squads. Yeah, no, I usually use them to just put them in the back, like, hey, boys, you just re reset on that weapon, and then afterwards, if I need, I can just merge them in, send them Before back. Before they nerfed, hoorah, I use them as suicide squads to take down tanks. <laughs> that was fun. They kind of had to nerf hoorah, in all honesty. I mean, I, I did that, I made I did that before. Bunch of things. They nerfed my Not water pits, they nerfed hoorah. Is it my fault? No, I didn't okay, see that. Okay, water pits are definitely my fault. Oh, the motor pits are definitely your I think it's Mrs. fault. He's the one that streamed. No. <laughs> no, he uploads videos. That's true. If Mrs. has never uploaded a video, I could have hit my motor pit. <laughs> I actually think I, I, I've contributed way too much to spearhead balance in all honesty. I did break British motor pits completely. It was glorious. Like, super glorious. Oh, hell to the F no on that thing. We can now establish forward headquarters. Oh, hello. Shock troops awaiting deployment. Shock troops can now be used to crush the enemy. We shall fight as never before, Commander. Just give the order. Hey, you got five people watching your stream. I mean, I'm a small-time streamer. Usually, if I get lucky, I hit around 10 people, so... It's the usuals right now. It's uh, Mr. Graza, ah, Shadows here, Max is around, Katusha. Alright, I completely wiped the southern front. I killed like three, three sections. Good job. Glorious Soviet choir is singing. I can't hear anything because then I'll hear myself. <laughs> I mean, I can't do anything about that. I can actually I can't. things with his. I mean, you can just mute everybody in here if you wanna. But then I'll get delayed conversations by like two seconds. It's done. I mean, you can decide. Uh, Mythos, can you start streaming? Sure. It's the best of both worlds. <laughs> There you go. Perfect. I get taking up all my Discord bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> you don't for any of it. <laughs> Technically, he owns the Discord server. But he doesn't pay for it. It may be his server, but he's not taking up any of the bandwidth. Very true. He's taking up we're taking up Discord's bandwidth. Hmm. This is mine now. Soldiers, Here's the question. You sure about that? Shit, was that a mine? Yes, There's sure. a mortar <laughs> right next to you. <laughs> you sure about that? You sure about He's that? Sure. <laughs> Let's get going. Look out. Actually, since you got it down to one, I don't think. I don't no, they're think retreating. He's, they're, they're... He's evacuating. No, I meant the mortars. I think. If a mortar gets down to one person, doesn't it just kind of retreat off? The yeah, it just runs away. Yeah. Yeah, they just they just run out. Yeah, because they need two men to uh, operate it. That's a lot of nades. Grenade yeah, assault. No. Good old German grenade assault. They throw four. Everybody throws one grenade, but it's super expensive to do. Yes, but it did destroy that fortification, and I'm happy with that result. It is kind of meant to be a German tactic, so it is kind of a classic German tactic, so. Yeah. Stop walking, comrade. Are you sending the medics to fight? Really? It's snipers. No, they're not snipers. No, those they are me medics. They just have a, they just have the sniper yeah. voice lines. That's, that's the yeah, only medic voice lines is all they have, really. That's the only female Russian voice line they have. <laughs> Damn Molotovs. Molotovs are so handy, in all honesty. Come back here, you piece of shit! No, 
No goalie buff. You cannot be excused. Dig. Thank you for the support. Oh, I managed to, managed to get the squad to escape the grenade briefly. You're not in cover. Let's cook some bastards. <laughs> Graz, I do not have time to read our article right now. This is in the middle of a game session. I really don't don't have the time to read that shit. We will get there. Occupy that structure. That wasn't too bad, actually, Missis. I did panic a bit there. <laughs> <laughs> Let us go when you see shock troopers, you always panic a little bit, I think. Shit. Mortar. Uh, because suddenly you're yeah, facing right. Soviet troops to actually know what they are doing. Like, Soviet shock troop was just so good. What is it? Mine didn't throw their nades. Shit. Yeah, my guys refused to fire the nade. Oh shit, hello. Yeah, that's a crowd mower. Would you rather be digging graves, Dimitri? Don't, don't, don't freeze on me. Dark. Oh yeah, it's the Panzer four already. Yeah, F1. We have a new scout ah, it's the damn, they used the overpowered F1. <laughs> overpowered in my hands, maybe. Oh, I see flankers. Yeah, they're coming to bully you. Eat shit! Hmm. Nice tank, by the way. Yeah, misses the Soviet shock. Big green. Body armor, am I right? Yep, and PPSHs, <laughs> lots of PPSHs. Yeah. Shoot the fucking armored car! Got it! Thank you. The tank Yeah, the tank has no gunner at the tank. The engine is damaged. I have to pull back a little bit, but I have to still be discovering. It'll buy us some time. Good job. Like, so, as I said, you should not ever trade Soviet shock. Soviet shock is really powerful. Yeah, if they get close, yeah. Like, the fact they can arm the whole unit with PBS ages with drum max is just absolutely nuts. Yeah. Are you guys going to ever reload? Nope. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, reload. Yeah, sure, I have 71 rounds so they can just switch out the Mac in, in like, three seconds. <laughs> Plus, I can suppress. You're a Hollywood action hero. They never run out of ammo. 
Plus, I can suppress with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All you want to actually, right? Yeah. Who needs, who needs to reload when you can just not reload? You just keep firing. <laughs> yeah, just hold down the button. Video game goes brrrr. Don't you know about the um, American spatial technology? Oh, you should just heard about the Soviet. You should heard about the Soviet shock troopers were saying. It was like, uh, vigor and strength is the reason why we're still in this war. And my balls. My. Big. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Soviet shock troopers. How was that little gun still alive? <laughs> the little gun that could. Retreat him. The little gun that could. Auto 226. No retreat. Comrade <laughs> Stalin gives the order. <laughs> oh, he just got another two tanks. I understand. I, I see him on the map. Yeah, he's turning towards me. I like how I can physically see his units in the fucking cover. It's great. Yeah, you can, you can like, um, if your troops can hear them. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's moving down here. Ah, oh, bollocks. I think I destroyed a cow carcass. Yeah, because my oh. because the oh because the crowd was just mowing down everything in the, on the roads. Be, be careful. Tour destroyed and gunner is gunner injured. But remember, he still can use heat shields. Oh, it didn't pin! Nice job! Gotcha, bitch! This time it's on my side. This time I win. You win nothing. What do you mean? I just destroyed two tanks. I won. No, you didn't. <laughs> you destroyed two tanks. That's not winning. Yeah, I won. If they had 50 more tanks behind them, is that a victory? I mean, here's Oh, the what the hell is that with those shock troopers? I'm I'm flying Russia, which means I have 200 tanks behind it. That, that was very cheeky, Martin. That was very cheeky. You probably should just not have um, spawned them right there, though. I didn't actually mean to spawn them in, though. <laughs> was it a misclick? Yeah. I clicked on the portrait, and, uh, and instead of clicking the left button, I click. Uh, and instead of clicking the right button, I clicked the left button. Oof. Because I've set it so the right button that takes hold of the map and allows me to fling it and fling my view across the map if I want to. A commissar has joined our ranks. So yeah, I kind of pressed the wrong button. That happens for, to happen to all of us. Can I have my stormtrooper resources back? No. <laughs> you need to learn to live with your mistakes, comrade. How much popcap does- Oh, Commanders don't take any popcap! Oh! Nope. Oh, I completely missed that. So you can just call in Commanders regardless of your popcap. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. What Commander? You Officers. Officers don't, uh, don't take any popcap. They do. Is it a vehicle? I'm over my officer right now. Is it a vehicle? No. Weird, because the, so the Soviet ones for this one doesn't take any popcap. The officers. Well, that sounds like cheating. No, the, the Soviet ones don't pop them. You don't. What's the theory? Soviets seriously don't pay. What's the theory? What's the theory? That you're a hacker. <laughs> a cheat. Yeah, which is, his, his theory is that we're all just cheating. No, my theory is Mythos is cheating. Of course. It, of, of course, it's always the furry that has to cheat. Yeah, why is it always I mean, me? Furries are just weird members of society, so of course they're cheaters. Oh, that's... So that's why we have to be in the same team. All right, understandable. Someone throw King to the Goliath. <laughs> why? Anything but the Goliath. Ah, somebody's went to my school. 
<laughs> yeah, you heard the boulder. But you don't have enough. I can already tell when there's not 50 barrage. Oh, those are. Oh, they can slow it. Yeah, That's a damn good gun up close. Those guys died really damn quickly. Team reports ready well. for combat. The, the, MD, the MD42? No, it was no, my. Uh, I, send in, I send in one group of units. It seems and they the got, uh, uh, Bear 44. Right, the SCG is good at all ranges, I think, actually. Yeah, they had Medi a. They had medium, a yeah. Medium to long. I mean, you think it'd be decent at close range too? Yeah, it's, it's not bad at close range. It's better than rifles, that's for sure. But it, I, I think in the SMG, it's still better at close range. Well, yeah. But the only thing with the S STG is, uh, you know, it's a rifle round, so it can shoot through most body armor at the time, if any. Oh yeah. Ready. Well, not many had body armor. Yeah, only Soviet so Chuck has. The Germans experimented it with it a little bit. Mostly World War One, though, to be fair. Moving. A commissar is prepared to join our forces to help inspire our men. Let's get the men in position. You can count on us, comrades. You can count on us, comrades. Um, Imperium unit. The commissar. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the realm of Ultramar, where there's no Commissars. Nice wall shot you got there, Mephis. How could there be someone Yeah, there? this weapon is not as effective as I thought it would be. Yeah, you shot the fucking wall. You know, are you I... using the howitzer, are you? I'm using no, the... Just, just an artillery cannon and he shot the fucking wall. Yeah, it's a regimental gun. I mean. If you want yeah, to use the that... Shot, the, shot, the shot commander's howitzer. I know, that's the heavy mortar I'm using against you, currently. But the one that shot the wall is the, uh, the one that shot the wall is the regimental gun from Shock, yeah. Yeah, the regimental gun is actually, I found, is actually pretty decent if you can get it in a good position. It's basically a an, an high explosive only, only gun. So it's very good against infantry in fortified positions. Oh shit. Officers are ready to deploy, comrade commander. Yeah. Is not going up. Great. Yeah, okay, this thing is not good at aiming from here. What do you need? And it's a and it's artillery range is just so short too. Yeah, true, it is 76 millimeters. Ow. You're trying to fucking move up again. Are you for real? I'm so glad I invested in a couple of mortars. I mean, Mythos should have known you had that, so... Yeah. The two mortars. Unless he's just not paying attention. Rip, you just killed the one mortar team. Yep. Do you need something? Oh no. The question I dread every year. What is it? What is the meaning of life? Oh. Oof. No, that's not the question I dread. That's the second mortar down. Nice yeah. job. sir. I have no idea what they are saying, but I like it. <laughs> I mean, you can always ask Google Translate. True. I just don't know how to type these things. I'm not Russian. <laughs> yeah, the Russian alphabet is well. The Russian lexicon, I should say, is something I'm not too. Yeah, I'm, I don't know how to, nah. how to, how to write <laughs> Karolian, thank you very much. I, I don't even know how to type that into my keyboard. 
Me neither. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, what infantry did I lose now? Probably is. Oh, you bombarding the squads with the very accurate shot. That'll be the red mental gun? Yeah. Oh, I'm not, I'm not moving, Max. That's suicide. He has a pill box. Jesus here. Christ, a the accuracy on your gun. Are you literally using the accurate shot? Or no, it's, it's just a barrage. No, it's just because a normal barrage. If I move any closer, I'm standing at the. Oh, you're wall. probably talking about my Herbie Mortar who's counter barraging you when you shoot up my, my light gun. If I move any closer, I'm sitting in his base. Which means I can't move any further because the pillboxes are still in the way. Then sit in his base. Oh, you're translating. All right, so whatever the... Uh, yeah, right, I forgot. Oh, I forgot Max is Russian. So what they said is they basically just move. Okay, so that's, that's what Sverk itself. Yeah, they, yeah they, they say only... They physically only say move. They're not going for stun. Yeah, so they're just saying move. Yeah, so you see what I'm doing, Martin? I'm using my normal small regimental gun to artillery you, and then I have my Herbie Mord on counter barrage. Yeah, which can outrange every mortar in the game. Yep. So. <laughs> Big E. Unfortunately, counter barrage negates inaccuracy by like 30 to 5 percent. So how does counter barrage work? I thought they had to be hit. Essentially, no. It, when anybody within range or slightly out of range fires at them, they will return fire. Yeah. And they're seriously accurate. They're twice Wait. as accurate. You said fire at them. No, basically, well, they fire someone within range of your team. So, okay, so they just have to fire within range. Okay. Yes, they have to be within their firing range, and then they will just return fire. Or yeah, if, if or, really accurate. or if like they're within, they're within like a few meters of the furthest part of the range, so like they're aiming at max range, and the circle can hit them, they'll could do counter barrage, and counter barrage is um Over mine. nasty. Over mine. Oh, Also, I hate the fact that German anti-tank has such short range. I think it has the same range as most anti-tank factions, actually. Yeah, but most tanks can shoot just over two-thirds of the range of an anti-tank gun. That's what I'm saying. I hate that it's just so short. Also, um... We need to get hold of the spearhead people to give them, an, to, so we can give the um, mortars an option to manually set up. Yeah, that would yeah, be a good idea. Rather than ordering them to do a barrage, giving away their position. I don't know. What I do, if you hold down the, the right mouse button when you uh, wanted to set up a place, they'll set up there. Like you. No, you, I just did that twice. Oh, so you like you right click where you want them, and then you drag. And then yes. when you let that go with that selection, they'll set up. They've never done that for me before. They always do that for me. Yeah, that's how I do it. No, not doing it for me. You might be doing it wrong. User error. It's, it's, the, the, exact, my... it's the exact same, same way as uh, like a heavy machine gun. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, I lost one of my these guys. Shit. Uh, south is going fine. How's the north? Do you need assistance? Well, I'm trying to push up slowly. <laughs> I need decision assistance. I've got basically nothing thanks to the damn mortars. And there's nothing I could do about it. Shit. Well, that was pure luck that you drove into range there. Yeah, they kept the That was a damn good shot to one hit it. But it wasn't. The workers can luckily do that with most side shots. Well, it is a, an 88mm rocket, so yeah. Why the fuck are they going that way? No wonder I just lost that squad. Uh, also, there's an unmanned gun here if you want that. Yeah, I know, but I, right now I don't want to risk my pop cap on it. Ah, oh, fuck, there's a gun. Kind of brushed, yeah, don't move the tank up here, I have a barricade set up. I don't want you to crush it. No, no, I'm not I'm crushing it. I'm just positioning for fire assistance. 
Just call me if you need fire assistance up here. I have positioned enough equipment. All right. I guess we're motor crew. What do you want, comrade? Come on. For Mother Russia. We have a fresh grenadier squad. I'm gonna actually fire on one that shit. That. How are they capturing that so fast? I activated assault tactics. It lets you decap at like an immensely quick rate. Yeah. 300% faster decap. Never seen that before. Yeah, it's on your hotbar. As a sh shock. Yeah, there's a few others that have it. I know I used it in one of our games that we had. It's really useful, useful for taking up a pin down point, really. Very smart. Go stand on the fire. You can't tell me that every I was about to say you every single one of those misses. Wow, the stug missed. Why is the stug tr turning the wrong way? I have no idea. That every time you look away after you give them a reverse command, they always seem to drive wrong. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, this should be fun to watch. Giving up on the mortar wall since you can outrange it by like 20 meters. No, don't give up. Just create nukes. <sighs> give me a faction with nukes and I'll shove it down your damn throat. <laughs> America. <laughs> America. <laughs> oh wait. Who did, the who did the Ger When did the Germans have nuclear weapons in the World War Two? Uh, never. Yeah, it's like never. History, buddy. Have you never played Hots of Iron 4 and got nukes as Germany quickly? Yes, and I mean, remember, I'm the, I'm, the developer, I'm the developer at 56, I can make that happen for you. Like, you're like, I can get that happen, Germany's my focus here. I can just, I can just go ahead, change that over, and they will accept the, the pull request. No, oh, look, it's a Stoogie! Hello, Stoogie! Yeah, it's the only anti-tank gun I've got. Sure, you'll fire fast. Oh, you actually got a penetration. Boom! Hello. Oh! <laughs> yeah, five, five rounds later. You can kind of see how long it takes for the KV-2 to reload, though. Already seen that. Shit, there's a KV-2 on the field. You're being flanked. I need help. I have no anti-tank along this side of the front, nor troops to be able to do anything anti-tank. Alright, I'll do my best. <laughs> oh, he has a pillbox here. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, this is match lost. No, not my officer! Oh, yeah. You win some, you lose some. Well, are you ready? You're ready. Good, let's go. Oh, hello. Oh, I couldn't ram it. I want to ram you. Go, comrade! Go, earn your destiny! To destiny! Oh! <laughs> it survived! <laughs> Almost killed it! <laughs> Most of the time, rams don't kill at full health. That's almost kind of the point. They're meant to stun. Yeah, they're only supposed to stun. Yeah, we're doing it two versus two right now, Shadow. It's it's a just a fun, fun small game right now. Oh, I just realized that you actually should be. Oh shit, shit, you got a penetration! Oh, it's, it's a good stook! It's a dead stook. Well, I did just fire a freaking 152mm high explosive shell right at it. Eh, yeah, should be able to survive that. No, I'm gonna go. Well, in World of Tanks, it'll survive it because the KV-2 got cut so nerfed that practically no one uses the KV-2 in World of Tanks anymore. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, this is not World of Tanks. That's the problem that you have. Yeah, I know. But I mean, in World of... 
in World of Tanks, it was a quite popular thing to use because it was just so derpy. But the, yeah, the, it's a derp gun. The accuracy, the accuracy thing was just so like great because it was not very accurate at all for the oh, damage it was doing. Then they doing. just kind of nerfed dam the damage so much that basically no one bothered playing it anymore because they, they didn't do anything to balance out Fire! Nerfing, nerfing it. Oh, where'd that come from? The KV2. I know. Reload. Come on. Fire! Mm. The thing is, nothing over here I can even purchase. I have maximum ammo, but I can't purchase anything. And the last shot. Fire! Has it got a barrage ability? Yeah, because if it becomes veteran, it can barrage. Oh, I didn't know that. It also a really short, low reason, not low, high reload time. I'll give you some flyers on your side though. I'm really looking how I can just waste some, waste some uh, ammo. You know what, I'm just gonna buy all of this. Uh, let's get metal oh, rain. they have two tanks on my end near the KV. Targeting the big target first. Didn't hit him. Did, that, did somebody say they have two tanks Shit. on your front? I'm immobilized, I'm immobilized. Get the horde in. The heat plinged off. Uh, you wanna, uh, hold on, is uh, King still here? Yeah, uh, he, I think he is. Fire! King Shadow wants to jump in. Okay. You wanna go in the next front? King? King. Hello, David! Hold on! That was just a love tap, and yet. As long as I'm on the ally side, fine. Okay, that's <laughs> I don't like being German. I can move away right in front! Doesn't matter, I have another one. Oh, but he's, he's getting stuck with the other side. Oh, no, he's stuck! Oh, let's buy more KB. Let's go buy more. It's not like I don't have resources for it. They're going for firing drills for the K for the KV2. Alright. So as, as long as the KV2 survives, it's everything that I need. Oh shit, they hit, they hit with a with a panzer strike. Turn the gun! No! It's gone. It's gone. We lost it, we lost it. Oh, the duality of heavy tanks. <laughs> I mean, you had the barrage ability, why didn't you use it? True, I should probably have done that. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. Let's get more. I think I think 85s might be more cost efficient. Screw efficiency, what are you, German? <laughs> I'm German. Can yeah, myth is it. He doesn't need efficiency. He's Russian! <laughs> you don't need efficiency! Soviets! Oh, just. You are the most disappointing Russian I've ever. Well, I, I am playing as a, a little bit more of an elite Russian army, in all honesty. And your point? You have access to a vehicle that shoots giant ass explosions! And Good you're going for efficiency! Good point! Get bigger, get bigger explosions! Oh, wrong button. Just get bigger explosions. He's choosing the 85 over giant explosions. Because the 85 can deal with their tanks easier. Comrade Stalin is gonna shoot you in the head. Nah, nah, nah. That'd be too kind. He'll torture you and then shoot you in the head. After you being in the gulag for a while. That sounds more accurate. This KV-2 is working as good cover, though. Yes, I've turned your T-34 against you. T-34 ready for combat. Yes, comrade. Well, time to buy another two T-34s. Buy 10. No, 20.
No, 50. Uh, can you get any sight, like, flares or some shit going on here? Uh, I don't think any mic. You do do, right. Commander, get up here. Well, I'm just gonna throw that in there. There you go. Ouch. Oops. Oh, I destroyed that sandbag by accident. Flares coming up. Okay. There's another tank coming. Rocket and Werfer. Oh, they got one. I'm bringing another in. Yeah, they're using, this, more. They're using the stolen T-34. Oh. Nah, that was, yeah, that was a void to be, Good. which means stolen one. Here's the thing, I could just... I'm just bringing another in. And by the time that one reaches, I have another one, and there's another one in queue. So, who's playing at the moment? Uh, me and uh, uh, Lem. Me, Lem, uh, Martin, and uh, BH. Everyone that is yeah, the, the greatest person ever, me. Uh, no, Dan Chow. Chucky, are you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I wanted Have to you know, seen uh, how King works in One Punch Man? Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, he's so overpowered. He's... Honestly, he's like, I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So like he's so overpowered that when he pee himself, the giant sent to be died. Look, when that, you can oh, block your way out of that shit that he's gone through, <laughs> you have all these calamities right in front of you and you bluff your way out. <laughs> oh, the spoilers, by the way, to anyone who hasn't watched uh, one, spo one Punch Man. Like, have, who hasn't watched it at this point? Good, good I, point. Never, I haven't watched oh, no. season two. I read the manga. Uh, it is good morning. Uh, I read the manga, but uh, I also watched season two. Honestly, a lot of times I don't have time for anime. <laughs> I'm only making time again because Law of Horizon Season 3. <laughs> so I love that yeah, anime. Get that damn truck out of the way. Right, right now, I am waiting for, what's it called? Um, the second part of Free Zero. Ah, the torture simulator. Oh, it's so awesome, I love it. Especially one of the death in season two, if you've seen that one. Boys, ah, shit. Boys. We forgot to do yeah, a boys. switch over to anime talk. With yeah, King focus, and focus, focus. It's like I'm okay with you having some shit dog and everything and some fun talk, but there's like I'm currently trying to win. I'm currently trying to win this. Man, you only delay the inevitable for the enemy. Disagreed. He's delaying the event. Stormseeker! Uh, oh, 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 I love that entire... <laughs> Famous uh, last word, Stormtiger. <laughs> Stormtiger! Uh, no, just don't get halfway through from the radio. <laughs> Stormtiger! Yeah, that one hurts. Well, that's the way. No, he's dead! At least hey, he laid mine. <laughs> the enemy is encroaching on our territory. I'm kind of impressed about the tank. It ain't going anywhere. Oh, they stole the tank burn. No, they just lost a squad trying to steal a tank. Well, I briefly captured it. That was a good attempt. A for effort, D for death. Okay, now no, we have, now we have to deal with a freaking uh, storm tiger. This is what that you thing do. Has such a long reload, it's ridiculous. You have to activate an ability. It's fine again! It. Here's how you deal with it. Send one wave, then before it's reloaded, send the second wave. And if that fails, send the third wave, send the fourth wave, send the 80th wave. Yeah, you're, you're Russia. Manpower is not an issue. Okay, we need to... I mean, we, can, we can solve that. I can just spam a bunch of uh, recruits. Just get a high I, explosive I tank fun. that Mythos has access to and send it into the south to nuke them. <laughs> One thing that like, I always bore, slightly bothers me with this uh, game is the fact that the conscripts are worse than a peanut battalion. I, I mean, yeah, because a penal battalion is somebody who's been like in, point, put in for a crime because he did a murder or something. It's a person that actually knows how to do combat. A oh, conscript oh. is a random farmer that they picked up, handed a gun, and maybe handed a gun, yeah. and threw into the battlefield. 
and they said go fight, but the, the, the penal battalion is like a deserter. Yeah. Like, I desert the battlefield, that's why I'm... There's actually two kinds of penal squads you can get. The one from the HQ with nine people is really bad, and that's made up of normal soldiers. The one you can get with dedicated weapons are officers who are penal troops. They're literally so, so military officers who are in a penal battalion. The one with six soldiers that are carrying armed with specialized equipment. And they were often armed with specialized equipment to deal with specialized tasks. Yeah, because like here, here's an anti-tank tank. So like Imperium Penal Legions, some of them have specialized equipment for specialized tasks. Mostly yeah. of the task they did was suicidal tasks, so... Not really. I mean... Penals were used for a lot of stuff. Yeah, but a lot of dangers because I remember like watching a documentary about the one of them. That's a jump player. Yeah, we see it. In the penal battalion and survived and got his freedom through it. But yeah, that's were... the point. If you get your mission from, then they just forgive you all of your crime. That's yeah. the op offer in the penal battalion. If you get the, if you do your mission as penal as a penal soldier, it's just like you never have done that crime or you never deserted. Wow, Stalin is more merciful than the emperor. In that case, yep. yeah, the yep. emperor. Yep. How long yeah. these task was really suicide like uh, charged, but... charged uh, like tanks and stuff. Yeah, like basically something. Yeah, uh, double. Was... Shall I back with that tank? Uh, oh, the tank that was... yeah, I love. He missed the tank. He missed the. Tank. I wasn't aiming for the tank. Tank all. You should have aimed for the tank. Now Mythos will snap his fingers and erase half your army. As if. It's snapping. We all know when Mythos sends in the heavy tank, it blows up. That's just happen more often. Oh shit! Uh, Run, uh, please, 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 please. No! I mean, no! No one went in without infantry. So yeah, I know. That was stupid. Yes! Okay, he can get another one. Oh my god, he got one over! <laughs> <laughs> We're <dying> like men! <laughs> oh, you saw him just get, like, get sucked in under the tank. <laughs> That's it, 10 out of 10. <laughs> How do we deal with that storm Tiger? Um, we just keep pushing forward because they're losing more and more ground. Eventually he can't retreat and it's gonna be in range of our cannons. Very true. You hit it oh, really just surrender. I mean... No, at this point, we are winning. You should surrender. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't like have the facilities to accept your surrender. The question was, how do they get past it? Not, how do you guys stop this? Yeah, that's the point. Like, we don't need to stop it. Where did those... You, you guys could just keep setting on troops left and right. I mean, it kind of depends on if you want to get to a 3v3 or not. Too. If you want to, I mean, you'll just to surrender and like how would you are. Give I'm me not a 3v3, I want to bombard people. I'll never surrender. If they give up, it's oh, for fuck's sake. Let's see, how much did you hit? Uh, only my mortar crew, actually. No! Not the mortar! Yeah, he actually didn't destroy anything other than the mortar crew. Oh, rip it, these mortars. Now the Hun will die by the hundreds. Well, I'm just gonna buy a new mortar then. Bless you. I just say bless you. Somebody burped. That's a, that's a joke in German. Well, I'm American. Well, I can die. I just a Norwegian joke. That's so bad. <laughs> All right, guess it works for Scandinavian too. Which is basically sorry for the rape. I mean, there's there's a lot of jokes which are really dumb, like the German joke. There's the dog going ham in the pan. Brave infantry have made the ultimate sacrifice. But it's like because no, don't don't even fucking bother. Don't say anything. At least it's got it. You said don't say anything. I'm yep. talking. No one can talk. Everybody shut the fuck up. Nah, it's okay. Ugh, stinking snipers. 
<laughs> oh, I know how some snipers have like, like, oh, to get this weapon upgrade, you need veterans. This five goes out, gets shot by one bullet, and dies. <laughs> yeah, you do have to uh, be careful with your troops. Uh, one Would thing you like I to get like... anything on this guy, then just buy buy veterans C3, like it's twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> so you got if no, you want sorry. Legend 5 it's two payments of $29.99. But, but it's a broader stuff because I feel like a lot of infantry fire just as long as a sniper. Yeah. It's because at the yeah. start the sniper doesn't have a sniper rifle. He's just a scout. Oh, no, I mean like the sniper sniper you can call in. Oh. Huh. I feel like they have almost the same range. They pretty much do. Rifles and stuff have long ass range. Company of Heroes 2 is too small scale for that their maximum range to matter. Basically, the, yeah. I, the, the, idea behind like... the, the idea behind the sniper is just that the sniper can, when if he gets the first shot off, it's always a kill. But with like everybody else, it's not an insta kill. The yeah. sniper on his first shot, it is a kill. If if he shoots and he is the first person to fire, it is a kill. There's a 100% chance that it is a kill. And uh, not if the enemy are in cover in this game. I've seen people take half damage from a sniper shot. Just no, then, then, the, then the sniper was spotted or something. But if it's if the sniper is firing out of uh, out of cover or anything, doesn't get seen, it's a one-shot kill. Mm, can we push up on this angle? You definitely can. I'm not sure how, but it's possible. I like how you, you, we definitely can, one second later, there's an explosion and it kills one of his units. <laughs> He's Russian, who cares? No, 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 I'm the Russian player. Again, Graza, this is too much text, I'm not going to read it, I'm fully aware of how penal battalions work. But still, thank you very much. You die, you die, you live, you're free, that's how it works. If he dies, he dies. Oh, that was a lot of units hit. I need, I need to find more incendiary. I feel like incendiary weaponry in this uh, game, at least in this vault, is really efficient. I don't oh, yeah. like how yeah, that barrage, like that mortar's barrage, is like across half the map. There, it's a heavy mortar. I mean, Shadow, what do you expect? Do you expect? Oh, like. This, that this is actually not going to instantly kill you if you're set on fucking fire. I mean, you played with now, right? When you're under this uh, wood hut and you can just stand there on the Naples everywhere, they're like, I'm fine. Yeah, but that's Vietnam. <laughs> We're not in Vietnam. We're in Russia. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Physics does not apply in Russia. <laughs> I'd say the physics apply more in Russia currently. The only thing that matters in Russia is to not piss the winter off. No, not not to invade Russia. I mean, you can invade it. No, oh, you can invade it. Just don't piss the winter off. It gets pissed off when you invade Russia, but still. Like, oh, when the Swedes invade Russia in, like, the coldest winter in the, like, century or something. Germans did the same thing, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a dumb idea. They, they, they invaded in late summer. But Russia's losing that strength of theirs here soon, or slowly over time. Very sad thing. Yes, it's like I always feel like every time Russia like get invaded, it's either early summer or something, and then they just hit the hardest winter Russia ever had. <laughs> that was the year, the year before, actually. Yeah, the coldest I don't winter. Know about World War II, but I know this when the Swedish Empire tried to invade them, it was the coldest the winter ever to be in Russia. Yeah, actually, the winter before the Germans invaded uh, the Soviet Union was actually the coldest winter in the last century. Yeah. So imagine if the Russians had. So, but, so imagine if the Russians. So imagine if the Germans. Imagine if the Germans had invaded a year before. It would have been even worse. Yeah. They actually wanted to invade a year earlier, but then Mussolini had the idea, hey, how about Greece? Yeah, how about Greece? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that campaign did very well, didn't it? Yeah, and then, we then... celebrate every year Mussolini's day. No. And this is exactly why we should vote Mussolini's grandchild into office right now. Oh, right, that's, that's, that's actually happening, isn't it? Yeah, but everybody vote for her. Go vote for her. 
Actually, oh. no, no, don't, don't vote for yeah, her. Yeah, don't, don't vote for her. Don't vote for her party. I, actually, I mean, I in no reality, can she really be any worse? I don't well, know. Worst case scenario, she's what? just as incompetent. <laughs> well, here's the thing which I'm gonna say actively. I don't know who she is, so I'm not not gonna say anything. It's just like, well, she's Mussolini's granddaughter, so it's a meme. And you're gonna have to live with it. But hey, it's free publicity. It's physically free pu publicity. Watch out, there's anti tank equipment. Yeah, no, I know there's a uh, pacifist team in the bunker. There, have some light. Shit. Getting hit. Have some light. Oh, the, the bunker gets also repaired because it's by it's by the base. Yeah, but uh, here's the thing which they can't do much about, and um, it's called Fire Baby, and it missed. Of course, it fucking missed. But I am slowly killing the bunker with just 85 shields. Come on, just keep doing. Assuming you can hit a four. Yeah, assuming I can hit. If you have enough guns, I don't know. Oh, oh that's running up. My, running up. my religion, my religion is LMG because bullets. My <laughs> religion mean, is LMG because bullets. <laughs> yeah, because you can fire forever almost, and then. Well, your religion is DACA. Have you heard of the artillery god? For Mother Russia. I mean, maybe. I mean, it was re, re believed in during Field of Freedom. From the a battle for dawn when they started it, was it like a million shell fired at the start? Yeah, something like that. One million shells fired over ten hours. That was heard all the way to the Switzerland. No, you could hear it all the way across the British Channel. Ah, the neutral. Well, mass. no, that is not that one. It was the um, oh, the British, um, oh, British that mine. Like it was like a few tons. Oh, that of one. Yeah, explosive yeah. That you could hear it in. It's London. gone. It's gone. Because I remember that I was talking about ah. like I could hear the entire bombardment for the 10 hours. You went to my school of conscript, probably. Eat Nate, piece of shit. How is the bunker still standing? It's a pillbox. Oh, that was only anti infantry grenades. I don't have that much heavy equipment here. When I get hit by a uh, The tank's gone, the tank's gone. Yeah, I'm just trying to destroy the, build, the pillbox. King, King Tiger! Ram Tiger. it, ram it, ram it! <gasps> For Mother Russia! You're charging the King Tiger! <laughs> no! Nope! <laughs> 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 no! No! Oh, imagine! I killed the gunner. Engines destroyed. Gunner's oh my mad. god! Gun, gun, gunner killed. Main okay. gun disabled. Engine burning. Engine damaged. And it's inside the base where it will be repaired. Can't hold. There's two tanks. Every three man. But. Can they reman it inside their, their base? Yeah. Yeah, they can reman their uh, their and our equipment. Prepare oh. the next wave. Get more conscripts. The fun part is that you can actually go over for over the limit if you do that. I think. Yeah, of course or you can go over the limit for that. I would. Damn it! Yeah, I'm steal not, that thing. Yeah, I'm not allowing you to get an 85. <laughs> that's why you destroyed it. But that's technically a legal move. You bombard oh, into our base. Shit! 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 shit. It's, it's not bombardment when you shoot from your background. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a uh, uh, rip. What is actually can actually fight the tiger? An eighty, an eighty-eight. Uh, it's an eighty-eight. Nice, an ice two. Yeah, an ice two can fight it. Problem is, I'm not. I don't get ice twos with this guy. Because no, should I get? A, should I go and get, get some ice twos going? Yeah, yeah, yeah get ice twos. Can't can't get all, of them. Uh, all right, I'm gonna quickly send my engineers back to base and build an ice two base. Shock troops have arrived. Let's go, comrades. Need something built? 
Fucking King Tiger, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, did, seriously? The best way to deal with it is charge with four tanks. Sim just do the Rus Russians' tactics of just throwing five, ten times more tanks at him. Yeah, I've just met the pop cap for that. <laughs> oh, we don't. It actually would be interesting if a Russian commander had more, like... You're gonna go to sleep? Alright, Matthew. Have wonderful sleep. Oh, I know what they should do. They should building a new fucking pillbox. They should nerf the yeah. Russians overall, but give them twice the pop cap. Ah, no, that wouldn't make sense because Russian in gear is actually pretty decent. Uh, Russian hey, give Russian conscript division. Ten times the pop cap. That, that makes uh, computer fear kind of hard sometimes. Is why are you bombarding into the base? Because you're shooting into the base. Because I have a tiger, and that's why. You have no, a king this tiger! Is this is actually the front line now, that's why. It's only a tiger too, unless it's also Yeah, he has a... He has a... That is actually true, it is the front line. <laughs> it is actually <laughs> the front line. This is physically the front line, so this time nobody can bitch about it. This is the front line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. my motor. Why are you, not you can blame the king tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Move it forward. Yeah, just blame the king tiger. Oh. Oh. He can move the king tiger out of there. How the no, no, no. I can't so get the front line. Just, we can repair it. Method, stop running, my medics can't keep up with you. No. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, what was I this saying? Is, this is veteran C5 medics. Here, here we go. Heroes of the Soviet Union. There we go, that's what I need. I thought the Soviet Union people weren't allowed to have medical care unless they always lost a leg. No, here's the thing. You're in the Soviet Union. This is a communist state. You actually had social care for everyone. Like, as, as much as people say it's a bad state, you had government... The government did enforce everybody needs to have have uh, social care, like, you need to have social insurance, otherwise you can't live here. It's mandatory for you to have social security. But I don't, I don't think that counts outside you... on the battlefield. Uh, I think he's referring to the joke that when you upgrade the medical equipment on the base, the, uh, the advisor says that uh, only for those seriously wounded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because wartime communism is a completely different thing to peacetime communism. Yeah, of course. I'm just saying, like, the fact that they had that made it so easy for them because everybody already was, um... Oh, everybody I was see. already, um... Paranoid. I see no, I knowing how to actually do... Place. do that shit. Everybody knew how to do medicine. Because, hey, it, it was mandatory to have medicine, so there was a lot of doctors. And a lot of installations for that shit. Yeah, but not also not too dare to touch Stalin. Yeah, no, that was that was a different thing. That has nothing to do with the, the king tiger. Thought he was still alive. <laughs> Didn't he also ended up like executing a lot of his good doctors? For yeah, because they were Jewish. Because he, Stalin was an anti-Semite. Stalin really hated Jews. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, never forget Stalin's an asshole. Yeah, never forget Stalin was a fucking monster. Oh yeah. But you know, he's a less of a monster because he killed only people living in the Soviet <laughs> No! He, I would say he... he no, no, that's basically how uh, like the, the world portrays him, like he's less of a because of that. FOR also, THE UNION! Possibly because... No, Hitler was just worse than Stalin. Yeah, so that's Stalin is seen as a much better person. Eat anti-tank grenades! He's still he's absolutely so horrible. Oh, I love this. Wow. That did nothing. <laughs> yeah, that was, what, a tiny little grenade? Hi. I have an anti-tank cannon. Come on, Red Air Force, show you can do stuff! They can't. Yeah, I see it. Oh damn, they can. Yeah, that, that is the Soviet anti tank bombs. Uh, one with artillery on it. And another one. Destroy that fucking tank! If I remember, like, most of the things that destroyed, like, heavy tanks were actually heavy tanks. I might be wrong, but I think there was one. Maybe let me you know that. Sorry, I can't hear anything. I hear yeah. Darker. I like Darker. That's all you need to hear. Daka. If you're here in Dhaka, it's a good day. Well, to be fair, Soviet and Orcs works pretty similar. 
Yeah, but Soviets don't grow on adrenaline. Shit, got shot in the rear. Charge! <laughs> oh god, is that an entrenched F1? VH8, VH, do you have an entrenched F1? No, he just has the, uh, it's a stuk. That's a stuk in the flag. Yeah. yeah, a couple of stugs, a stolen T-34, which I'm still surprised is still existing. I still love how simple T the T-34 was made so it could be fast produced. Yeah, it, but I mean, it's... Yeah, the point. It was developed to be cheap and fast. Because they had to move so much industry, they didn't have time to make super efficient and high quality equipment. So like, well, we I have to- I still wonder how they moved their entire industrial base out of the, out of the front. It's a long Soviet back. That's because Stalin ordered every single on-duty soldier at the time to the front line immediately, even if they didn't have all their supplies, just to slow the Germans down. They lost their yeah. entire air force in the first few weeks. Uh, not the entire, but two thirds. No, it was the entire air force was gone. It was half their tanks that was gone. Nope, they lost two thirds the of the invasion. air force. I remember that directly. I remember. No, I remember the. I remember the Soviet air force still contesting sometimes. Yeah, but it, they yeah, no, they lost so much. Two thirds. There was most of it. It's not um, actually a hundred percent of everything, but it was basically most of the air force. It wasn't really a thing anymore. And obviously, the most important thing it was all the competent, competent pilots. Yeah, all gone. the good pilots were gone. <laughs> That's also why they started recruiting women into the Air Force, and some women made a good name for themselves. Yeah. They, this is when it was also the turn in the Soviet Union, where it's suddenly like, maybe women are to be considered equal. Because people were like, well, you know... They and if they're considered equal, equal, they can go in the army as well. Yeah. We need to deal with that King Tiger. What King Tiger? Never heard oh, of one. There were some women in like the army generally in all of them, but most of the like military on like the other countries, they were more like medics and Oh yeah. If they ever got a chance to be medics. You generally didn't see them on the front lines though. They're yeah, like back uh backfield hospital. Got it. New squad is ready. Move the tank back, start reversing. <laughs> There's so <laughs> Yeah, fra fra some of them damage and some of them don't. It's because some of you are throwing frags and some are throwing AT grenades. Frags don't do a thing. Yeah, no, I, I, threw, I threw frags with those which didn't have any more anti. Uh, but still, I'm I'm having a problem with that shit. Oh. Yeah, there's still shit there. All I can say is this game is lost, they so control the map. Well, this is the thing yeah. the Soviets are good at, it's attrition. Yeah, no, we managed they to hold out. We have infinite manpower. Attrition? What's that? <laughs> Here's the thing that you have to remember though, you are at max tech. I'm only at two te levels of tech. I've been attacking you with conscripts and fucking T-34s. I mean, that's kind of all you need as Soviets. Like the bare minimum. It's like, it's like the sh it's like the American dude just throw Shermans at the, the... <laughs> sweats in Sherman. Yeah. Oh look, he just lost two Shermans, and this girl just bought all their men manpower points back. Thank you very much. <laughs> you <Yeah>. know. <laughs> I mean, if I remember, like the American has a lot of like malt, malt rice and stuff because you know oil forever, so they could have everything turned on all the time. Yeah, that's the advantage. Yeah. The um. The American side, they literally could just have everything mo motorized and mechanized. Yeah, because they, they had the production for it. 
yeah, the thing is, since they were never in the war, and they knew, like, oh, we need this to be super efficient and, like, super strong. So, like, if we're gonna make a D-Day, we have two years to prepare that shit. So, we're gonna get the best equipment we can get. We're not gonna cheap out. And not to mention, they had no problems with, like, fuel or anything. To their... I mean, that was it also helps they had massive unemployment at the time, so they're like, you know what? I have an idea for all these jobless people. No, I'm just, I'm actually saying, because that is not true what you just said. They actually did have fuel problems. Because how do you get so much fuel for an entire mechanized army from America over? That takes a lot of preparation. It is difficult for them to actually prepare everything. That's why Roosevelt, no, not, was it Roosevelt or oh, Eisenhower? It was yeah, Roosevelt. Roosevelt. One, it one was of them. Um, and Churchill was sweating so much about the U-boats. And, th and then when Tirpitz sh showed up on the scene, um, they were panicking about whether or not the Germans had enough fuel to have Tirpitz go to the Atlantic and fuck up the convoys as well. But uh, yeah. that's like, when the D-Day and they actually landed and are starting, that they had control of the sea at that point. Yeah. yeah, of course, but still, it doesn't matter. If you have a U-boat, let's say you need 10 out of 10 out of 20 supply supplies to go through. If 12 gets sunk, you have a problem. If out of a single group, just randomly 12 gets sunk. Well, Britain was a few weeks from starving at one point yeah. because those U-boats were being that bloody useful for the Germans. Kill all of that shit. But like, they had like, shit and stuff running on, running like tanks on the it's front fucking line. Atti it's it's nice. fucking artillery pieces, annoying. I still wish we could get highest Who's artillery, Who's artillery is, piece is that? I think mine. that's uh, him, because uh, he's Sturm. Mine. Yeah, because mine, one, has mine, Sturm, mine. One, has Sturm, one person has a Sturm Tigo, that's a long range artillery cannon. Which means that is the limit that you have. Mm -hmm. I still wish you could get the IS-3. But it was, not a, it was never employed in World War Two. Yeah. Well, it was employed maybe at like last month, and that was it. It never got to yeah. any battles. Yeah, it never got to the front. <laughs> it never got to the front. Same with the electro boats. They were made. It's just they never saw active duty. Three hundred fifty were uh, built. Just there. Build an ICBM launcher. No, I don't feel like building ICBMs right now. Thank you very much. But I still Shit, it has long range, it has long range. But I still would have found it fun if you could both have the IS-3 and mouse in the game. Look, I think Germans should be able to get the land cruiser. The rat. Yeah. I think mouse. I think they deserve it. Alright, understandable. Now can we just please continue, go back to the game? I mean, I would, but I'm sitting here waiting. Don't be dramatic. Oof. Okay. Tiger's moving. Every single shot bounced, every single one, even though this should be able to pierce. Well, you want high explosive shells, I'm a piercing. Yeah, no, I went with the concrete piercing. Shit. Here, eat that shit. Of course, that also bounces. I shot with a fucking Panzerfaust in the side armor, it bounced. Uh, it looked like it hit the front. No, that, that was definitely the side gun. And this is why Russians need heavy artillery later on. Like, if I was allowed to use my heavy artillery, this would probably not be the situation we're in. Really. 
No, he just got super lucky with this one again. Everything balanced off this fucking tiger. Because the ISU 152 is definitely able to pierce that shit. Yeah. But again, it just bounced, and I was one shot. The key moving. All we need to do is flank it somehow. We have a new T-34 standing by. Listen up, men. Da, da, da. Yes, T-34 moving out. Again, the problem is, I was supposed to be winning that engagement, but randomly decided to lose. Well... That's kind of war. You can't really actually predict alpha. No plan survives the engagement. A fresh officer has arrived. Oh. They mobilized their T-34. It feels like Rogue has Soviet saying that. <laughs> You know, if they could actually fire the fucking Panzer house and not just aim at you again, that would be great. Missed. Oh, that's a bad one. Keep going, get your hit. You're out. Shit, missed again. <laughs> Did you oh. just see the turret slowly moving to your death? Unlucky. All the yeah, that's what I mean. Like everything just bounces for some fucking reason. It's a it's a king type. Still, like this is the this is the side armor with a non with a non unconsidered weapon that should do some damage. Ah, uh, T thirty four is done. That, that's something I feel like. Sometimes it feels like even if you hit them with the rear or back, they still just bounce off. Yeah, which makes no sense. It's the same thing that I had in the last game. Where I tried to shoot, like he tried to shoot me, it's immobilized. And yeah, that's the start. Because uh, I remember that, like, clearly, is uh, this that was kind of the T34 like overpowered uh, Tiger. Yeah, no, we don't have time for any of that shit right now. Sorry. Shit. I really need to concentrate and get the rest going. Shock troops have arrived. Can't talk about the T34's ability to flank you know, enemies. Flag to just overrun. It doesn't matter. Just shut up. Seriously. I just need to get this going. Got a flanking shot. Oh, thank God. Dropping propaganda on the enemy. Shock troops have arrived. Popping propaganda over the tank. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. What does propaganda do? It pins oh, yeah. enemies. Oh, I hate the base game, what it does. The fuck popped that smoke? Me. I can't see him now. I was trying to throw a satchel. They're bombing. Mobilized him. I, I fucking shot with the concrete piercing armor and I didn't do any damage. Yeah, I you I you uh. That was even that was even the side armor. Like I'm physically unable to pierce. The second I had one, it got one shot by a fucking T-34. And his just doesn't do anything. The main had a longest range and see if we can hit it. No oh, idea, yeah, right? I should probably not go. Yeah.
Do you have any flares you can pop there? I need to see. Uh, let's see. Officer, officer. Shit, I lost most of my officers. Mine's on cooldown, that's why. Gotta be right back quickly. Well, you guys. Pioneers ready for assignment. They're pushing it back. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm getting flanked. That's what I mean. Like, this is also not a small vehicle. And I instantly get killed by it. Yeah, like, fuck, no, fuck it, fuck it. I, I just got long shot by T-34. And he fucking bounces with a medium tank destroyer. I'm not I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, th this is actually why the Soviets and I need to have super heavy artillery. Because the Germans can do this late game. It, it doesn't matter. It's just, again, it's just the yes. Like, everything I threw at him bounced every single time, or it just didn't do damage. But that, like nice I said, if, if I could use my heavy artillery, super heavy artillery in this game, I, we could have beat them. But I'm no, not... you should have been dead. The ISU shooting with a concrete round and doing zero damage. It didn't even immobilize on the first shot. The second shot immobilized, the first one didn't. Like, I'm just trying to say here, like, this is why I have no power to deal with it. Because I am not allowed to use my artillery. Oh, you can use one. Yeah, but that's not gonna be enough, because I just don't get anything else. I can deal with this kind of stuff. And then you also get the Storm Tiger, on top of that. This is why... I think we banned the Storm Tiger, or we just... Well, I don't know. Because this is the problem, like... I, I need to use Super Heavy Artillery in order to stand a chance like go. I cannot do anything unless I can use Super Heavy Artillery. Is that King Tiger? Yeah, because it can outrange everything we have now. Another vehicle has been lost in the defense of the Rodina. I honestly can't believe this is working. Because Germany is yeah, no, very strong. Again, it's working for the simple fact that for some reason every single time I shot it, it bounced. That's the same bullshit that. Um, that Martin had last game against me, where it's like, oh, he's shooting me with two tanks and everything bounced. Like if I could use my B, like if I could use my B4 here, I could have fought, fought but uh, because I tried to be a fair player and follow the rules, I didn't build any super heavy artillery because people get pissy about it. Oh no, you're you allowed to build one at the entire point. Yeah, one Yeah, I know, but people still get pissy about it. I mean, he's only, only if it's pissed. bombing the base. <laughs> If it's bombing the base when the base is not a front line, that's when we get busy. I see this battle is going in, in your favor, Mr. No, it's not. No. I, no, no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it I was could, why, but then they had a King Tiger and a Storm Tiger, and they couldn't really destroy it. So. Lawrence. Yeah, I still, I still claim full victory. I still you claim full victory. You're finally slowly claiming victory on this bit. Uh, are you happy? No, no I'm, I'm saying please don't wind him up. Okay then. As you already know, like people have complained in a couple of videos of for my for my complaining, which we've made memes out of, as you know. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> I've got over it, but there we are. Ah oh, shit, artillery. Honestly, I just say allow everything because no. each side has no. things that are unbalanced. No. No. If you don't have artillery, no, then the King Tiger is banned. No. no, we specifically banned it because if you allow all artillery, we have the problem nothing can move. Because he moves any amount of infantry up, but since everything hits, dies in one hit, I shoot one Sturmtiger in, then I do a charge, he shoots one artillery strike in, and then I die, and nobody moves. That's the problem with it. But that can still happen even limiting it to one each. You can no, still have a Sturmtiger and a B4 doing that. No, it doesn't happen. Like, this is really physically right now. 
If I was allowed to have a crap ton of super heavy, then this would happen. But since I'm not allowed to, since I'm not doing it, it's not happening. It's the same kind of thing with giving basic squad snipers, especially if you're a British player. Yeah, we said it's, we're limiting it to, to, what is it, like one one set? One squad. One squad. Yeah, one squad. You can have if one a squad set. specifically comes with sniper rifles, you can have as many as limited in the game. Like an officer coming with some snipers in there. Eh, my concrete round fucking... I'm up. No, never know it's a major issue with the super heavy artillery. No, I'm just fucking... My, yeah. my, my medium tank destroyer just bounced off a fucking Panzer IV. <laughs> concrete piercing down bounced off a fucking Panzer IV. I'm still claiming victory. This is absolutely yes right now.